Humanity has so much light. We don't see nothing around us. We don't know. We don't feel where we are. Then all the time we look up to head. And she spoke to you. Yeah, she spoke to us. Well, to me, I feel when I see her, it's like a, it's a one friend you see her for so long. It that she took us right away. She said hi, Conchita. It she said. She said hi, Conchita. Yeah, in Spanish, you know, hola, Conchita. And she talked to all the girls, and then we talk about um, everything happened to us, and uh, from the time we see the angels, we tell her everything we do in the farm, you know, like... Were you frightened? No, we, I, I tell you, it's like it, uh, we see one Godfrey and we don't see for so long. It's very, I say, it's like my mother. I don't see for so long, like it, I feel like I know her before. The Blessed Mother gave us the message the, uh, July 4, and she said to us, give it you um, October. And the first message is, I don't say in Spanish, but I can say in English. Hay que hacer muchos sacrificios, mucha penitencia, visitar santísimo con frecuencia, pero antes tenemos que ser muy buenos. Ya se está llenando la copa y si no cambiamos tendrá un castigo muy grande. This is the first message. You can be all over in the world. You can be any place. You can be, you know, in the airplanes. So you can feel that aviso. You can be direct from God. No man can do it on any explication, human way you can explain how, uh, you know, the visa. If you're going to feel uh, inside you, if you're going to see with your eyes, but they don't, don't go hurt you. It's not going to hurt you? No. Like it, uh, to me, it's like a two stars, um, what you call a uh, crash. Yes. Like a two star and the scratch, they make a lot of noise, a lot of light, but they don't fall down. You know, the thing, they don't hurt us, but we're going to see it. In that moment, we're going to see our conscience. You're going to see what everything wrong you see. You do it. You're going to see everything wrong that yeah. you're doing. And you're going to see everything um, good you don't do it. Everything good that you're not doing. Yeah. The miracle she's going to send to us, the purpose is uh, to leave us know. The message she tells us is what she wants to be done. If she want to save us, if she think when we see the miracle, then uh, we're going to change our lives. So it's to tell people that the message is true? Yes, all the message. What can you tell us about the big miracle? Well, the only thing I can tell is going, going to be in my village, the miracle. Because something going to happen in my village. In Garabanda? Yes, everybody is there around the village, can see it. it uh, the people sick are going to be there, are going to be cured. The Blessed Mother says, Los enfermos sanarán. If the sin is going to be converted, and then after that day, it's going to be one sign in the pines. It's going to be like it's a, going to be a sign where? In the pines. In the you pine know, trees? Yes, in the pine trees. We see the Blessed Mother in the pine trees a lot of times. And she says, It's going to be one sign there. And she tells us the sign is going to be, it's going to be there forever. Like, if, for example, this dog is going to be there, you know, like it, um, like maybe the uh, Rayo del Sol. Something we can see is only from God, going to be there forever. Do you know what sort of sign? I know the sign, but I, I don't know, I can't explain. I know you can see it, you can take pictures, but you can touch, you can't uh, palpar. Feel it? You can feel it. So it's like a, uh, a bright light? Yes, something like that. And it's going to be there forever. That sign will stay there? Yeah, forever. And this big miracle... Do you know when it's going to happen? Yes, I know the year is going to be happening, I know the day, but the Blessed Mother said till eight days before. And then I talked to my vision. I remember I spent my vision a lot of hours explaining the whole thing. Yeah, I told the vision, I don't see the Blessed Mother. I, you know, I, inside it's like a one dream, I don't know what happened. The only thing, I don't know who tell me the message. I don't invent the message. It, I told him, I feel uh, las llamadas. I can't explain that. It's a miracle. Somebody tell me the miracle. And he said to me, don't worry. You know, 
you know, only you confess me. I confess to him, and he gave me the solution. Absolution. Yeah. And then after that, the bishop said to me, "Is better you don't co talk no more about the Parisians." Did you go on doubting, or did you start believing again? Then I remember when the people come into my village, they ask to me about the Parisian, and I say I don't believe. I feel like a, I talk and get to the Blessed Mother. I can't. I don't feel right inside. You don't feel right. And I tell the people this whole story. I feel she. I, you know, I start foolish these people. I don't know what, for this I had to leave the village. I can't stay there no more. You had to leave the village because of all the people wanting to talk to you? Yeah, I don't know what to say to the people. You didn't know what to say to them? Yeah, I say everything is true. I feel like foolish then. Yeah, I say it's not true. I think I heard the Blessed Mother. So you thought that you were fooling them if yeah. you said it was true, yeah. but that you were offending the Blessed the Mother. Yeah, I say it's not true. If you say it's not true. Yeah, so you but left the village. Yeah, then I left the village. But, you know, to come into America, I come into America to work, and I don't tell nobody I come here. I am all alone in this country for a lot of months, and nobody knows about And where I work, and nobody knows who I am. So you came here anonymously? Yes. And, and then I start, you know, remember a lot of things. Then I never I forget the Blessed Mother's picture, you know, when I see her. You know, I start to remember the Blessed Mother again. And I start, you know, remember her voice. I start to remember the angel. I think I never, I can't explain how we start the Parisian. You couldn't explain the apparition? I can't explain them. And I know I see the Blessed Mother, I see her. You know, I, I talk to her, I see the angel. So you went back to believing that it was true? Yes, I see her. And how many months was it that you... A lot, you know, more than one year. More I than live, one year? Oh, yeah, I live like that. For more than one year, you thought that your apparitions were a dream? Yes. Oh, I can't explain it. You what couldn't is, explain it? You know. But what do you think now? Now, uh, I see the Blessed Mother, I see the angel, I hear her voice, and I wait for the miracle. So you, now, you believe that your visions were true? Yeah, but I'm going to tell you something, if the miracle don't come in, I don't think there's nothing true then. If the miracle doesn't come, yeah. you'll think there's nothing true? Yes, but the Blessed Mother, every time she says something, has happened. So, you know the date for the miracle? Yeah. Eight days before it? I don't tell to everybody. You'll tell everybody? Yes. If the miracle doesn't come... I hope that this will not happen. <laughs> no, I won't come in. But today, yeah. you believe it will come? Yes, I believe it very strongly it's coming. No, I never, I think, tell. And you believe that your visions of the Virgin Mary were true? I believe I see the Blessed Mother, and I believe I see the angel. Then, it, you know, it's, uh, the Pope is coming and say, no, you don't see the Blessed Mother, this is not the Blessed Mother. Then I say, you know, I see the lady, beautiful lady. I see a beautiful angel, look like an angel. You know, don't you, that many people have delusions. Uh, they imagine yes. that they see things. Yeah. Do you sometimes worry that maybe you have had a delusion? I don't worry about that. Before I worry when that doubts. But then we had the doctor, they do all kind of, um, they studying in us. You know, they, they studied they, you? They stu yeah. They say we are normal. They say you're normal? Yeah. <laughs> Did you think maybe you were sick in the head? They say we are sick in the head. Then I, you know, they say they are sick, but I am sick. But, you know, I but blessing sick, I am be sick like that. I like to be sick like that in the time. You'd like to be sick if you see visions like that. Sure. When you look at your little children, and you look ahead to the future, are you frightened for them? Yes, I do. Even a lot of time I, I say, I got to take my children to heaven. I won't miss them, but I like miss them, take the comes. I think they're going to suffer. You think lot. they're going to suffer? Yes. Why? But I believe after the miracle, uh, all this thing, we're going to change our lives. But we had, uh, I, I think we lost a lot of, like, the same or the thing. We lost like a lot of the sing of the sing, a sing no more, you know, like we don't, we that to spoil, we don't do sacrifice. You mean we've lost a sense of sin? Yes. yes. It's very hard to, you know, to start all over again, even to teach them to children. Like I see the way they teach them to children now, it's no sin no more. It's, no sin? Yeah. Like I believe we, we're going to get the punishment. You do think the punishment's yes. going to come? Yeah, the punishment coming, I am sure going to, you know, get my children. It's going to get your in children. In my children's life. In your children's lifetime? Yeah. And that worries you? Sure, it me. Yeah. 
Can you help them to be saved from the punishment? The only thing I can do is, yes, the best thing we can do is, you know, the, like the, teaching the babies the best to love God, the Blessed Mother has strong faith in Jesus. And what now do you want for the rest of your life? Love God, I do His will. 